competitors of Tailwind CSS have it hard. It's one of many ways to write CSS, but it's incredibly well done. Take for example Windy CSS, a framework that provided essentially very similar things to Tailwind. In fact, Tailwind even got some of their parts from Windy, like the just-in-time compiler. Just a few days ago, Windy CSS declared their sunsetting. Not enough people are using the service, so they're gonna stop it. And I think a big reason for that is there was no inherent need for something like Windy CSS in the first place. So Josh, should everybody be using Tailwind? Is it a fit or solution? Is it good for everyone? You can probably already imagine the answer. Oh, what's that? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the new kid on the block and his name is Uno CSS. Recently, a lot of people have been talking about Uno as the replacement for Tailwind. Take a look at these features, they're pretty impressive. It's fully customizable, it's instant, five times faster than Tailwind, it has so many integrations and shortcuts, an attribute mode, and so on. Over 10,000 people have started on GitHub, so will I use it for my future projects? No. What was that? No. Let me show you around and you're gonna change your mind, trust me. So this is the Uno CSS website. For example, look at this, it's fully customizable. This is really cool. You can import the config from Uno CSS and it will only generate the styles for you that you actually use in your CSS code and nothing else. And that will contribute to a very tiny client-side footprint that you need to ship to the browser. So that's very impressive. It's lightweight, as you can see right here, it uses the same technology with broadly or broadly as Tailwind does. Tailwind is about the same size. It has lots of integrations. That's surely really cool. For example, React, Vite or Vite, Svelte. There's Preact in here. Then we have Svelte. I think I just mentioned Svelte, Svelte Kit. There's Svelte Kit, a scoped module you can have with web components, pure web components. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is, this is pretty neat. And also one thing I want to point you to, is the interactive documentation. Not only does it look good, but it's interactive. You can click on these things and then just play around, you know? How cool is that? And the documentation is really well done. And the main reason I don't want to use Uno is not the documentation. It's not because it's bad in any way. In fact, I think Uno CSS is just as good as Tailwind, but it's not better. And there's one approach that I in particular do not enjoy that I want to point you to. If we take a look at the shortcuts, we can see a very weird approach that I for myself do not enjoy. Maybe you happen to know a UI library called Daisy UI. If you don't, let me pull this up right here. So this is the Daisy UI approach you take. It's kind of like Tailwind, but different. Instead of writing the individual classes, the atomic classes, atomic meaning they just do one thing, we have a button class and a button dash primary. We abstract classes away to use less classes inside of our CSS. That is the opposite of what Tailwind does. And those two are two very different approaches. In Tailwind, the atomic approach and here the abstracted approach. In Uno CSS, there is both. And while you don't have to use both, it's just an optional thing you can do. It is encouraged as dynamic shortcuts. So you're mixing the Tailwind with the Daisy UI approach. And because Uno CSS is so unopinionated in how you write your code, mixing the Daisy UI approach of declaring one class meaning multiple things and the Tailwind approach of multiple classes each meaning one thing, it just leads to a lot of code entanglement that could be avoided by deciding for one or the other approach, just like you can with regular Tailwind. It is because Uno CSS tries to solve a problem that, at least for me, never has been a problem in the first place. There was never a moment in my Tailwind usage ever when I thought, oh, this is an amazing feature that I cannot do with Tailwind CSS. Either you use custom classes if there's something you really can't do, or use just custom CSS and then apply it to a class. But that is the absolute exception. And don't get me wrong, the creator of Uno CSS is a core team member of the Vue.js team, so they clearly know what they're doing. Uno CSS is really not it for me though. I'd be super interested in hearing your opinion. Could you imagine mixing these two approaches, deciding for one in Uno CSS or just sticking to regular Tailwind for now? Let me know down below. I'm very interested in hearing from you and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.